What up, guys? What up, guys? What up, guys? You know, it's Marty. Anyway, guys, today, today, try. guys, guess what I got for you today? Well, we got a cook of you. That's correct. That's right, guys. We in the kitchen, guys. We in the kitchen. You know, I got my W, W, E, champion cooking belt. You know, shout out the Strange Vision. You know, check him out, the Strange Vision on YouTube. Uh, he sent me this uh, WWE Championship uh, igloo cooler belt last year when I like. Went live on the website and you know, thank you, Strange Vision. You know, anyway, this is what we got today. I found it on the markdown of a local friend of mine. You know what it is, guys? You know what it is? Bam! Oh, what, oh, what, all right. So, this should be pretty interesting, guys. It's from Wicked Kitchen. It's Barbecue King Mac and Cheese. Now, cheese is, isn't spelled the way cheese is supposed to be spelled. So, it leads me to believe this ain't real cheese. And this is like some vegan product, but I don't really know. I saw it on the markdown and I saw Barbecue King Mac and Cheese. Yeah, so hopefully it's Barbecue Mac and Cheese, but we don't know. So let's see what it's all about, guys. So it says naturally flavored, kicking barbecue style, cheesy flavored macaroni. Anyway, guys, you know, nutrition facts. You know, other side, and I got it for a. Uh, 88 cents, so 88 cents on the mark down. Boy, is that a good deal? Is that a good deal? You know, and it doesn't expire till like two months from now. So, all right, all right. So, yeah, anyway, let's see. Let's see. It says 390 calories for 2.5 ounces of dry mix and 550 for one cup of prepared. And serving size is two servings. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Eight grams of sugar. So, anyways, like I was saying, all this week we're doing healthy reviews, guys. You know, I got my drink of the day, a uh, Yerba Mate Gyaki Peach Revival. So, you know, cheers. Hope you sit back, get yourself a cold beverage, and you're enjoying this cooking video. Anyway, anyway, so let's see it, see more stuff about it. It says, oh, it is, it says uh, vegans or veggies. Yeah, it's veggies. That's not vegans, it's veggies. Uh, is it vegan though? I'm not really sure, guys. You know, there's a lot of stuff. Maybe you can read it. And let me know in the comments below, what do you think? So, anyway, guys, anyway, guys, it says, how do you make this, how do you make this, how do you make this? So, uh, instructions, you need to boil water. So, we need to get a pot, guys, we need to get a pot, and we need to boil some water, so. To the stove. I'll put you like right there, you know, because, oh, if you're wondering, we're using this for the first time using my new Insta360 X4. So, let me know in the comments below what you think about, you know, using this camera. You know, usually we just use my iPhone, but we try out something new, guys. So, guys, you guys, we need a pot. You know, got myself a pot, so we need to get water. Alright, got the water, got the water. All right, all right, all right, got more water. Now guys, those guys, got a new faucet. What do you think about it? It kind of looks like Beauty and the Beast. You know, my mom's wanted a new faucet and this is what we got, so what do you think? Do you think it looks like Beauty and the Beast? I'm getting like Beauty and the Beast vibes from it. So guys, here we go. We need to go over here. Hi. Is that the right burner? No, that's, that's, that's the wrong burner. This is the right burner. Hi. That right there. All right, now I guess we gotta wait till the you know water boils. So let's see what our next step is, though. So after the water boils, you need to stir up the macaroni and cheese, bring it to a boil, and cook for eight to ten minutes, or until tender. Recording all right. All right, uh, turn down the heat a little bit. We gotta put in the macaroni. All right, all right, all right. 
it. You might have to turn on the fan though. Let's see, where's the fan button? There we go, there we go. Alright, alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, cheese packet. Make sure you leave that cheese packet out. Noodles! Alright, 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 I hope you can hear me because I turned the fan on. I gotta probably turn the fan off though. Let's see, level 1. Yeah, there we go, there we go. That's a little bit better. Alright, so you need yourself a knife. So you know I got myself a knife from Big Eye Design. So, acha, acha, you know, the flipper, the flipper, the flipper. Alright. Put that aside. Then you go, curveball. Alright. Then you gotta get yourself a spatula or spatula. So, get yourself a spatula. Then you stir it up for like uh, eight to 10 minutes. So, you be stirring for eight to 10 minutes. So I'll come back to all you in like eight to 10 minutes. So see you in a little bit. Burp. I was button it. I got like this. So you know, we back, we back. So it's been cooking up. It's been like nine minutes, so. Looks pretty good, so now we gotta take it off the heat and then we gotta strain it, I believe. I believe that's what you do. Yeah, it says drain macaroni and cheese, do not rinse. And that says, uh, alright, so drain, 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 you know. You, you remember that song in elementary school? Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Something, something, something. Alright, alright, alright. It's draining, it's draining. Alright. Now I don't gotta strain it, so this is how I'm draining it. You know, carefully, guys, carefully. Because you know, I don't wanna get rid of all that mac and cheese. Alright, alright. Gotta get rid of all this water, though. Oops. Lots of water, guys, lots of water. Alright, now, hopefully you can reduce more on the heat. And then, guys, then, guys, it says that. That's probably. Turn down the heat or something. Yeah, that'll, that'll burn off, that'll burn off. So yeah. Anyway, so it says I need to add two tablespoons. Well, first I need to add the sauce mix. Then yeah, I need two tablespoons of plant-based butter and a fourth cup of non-dairy milk. So I guess this is vegan, guys. I guess this is vegan. Now, me personally, I got nothing against that, but I don't got any plant-based butter and I ain't got any uh, plant-based milk. So you better uh, believe, or you butter believe, you know what I got? I got that Krona spreadable butter. Cause, hey, you want your butter spreadable. So, I'll put a little dabble in there. Oh, and then the sauce pack in yet. Hey, is this sauce pack hard? Why is this sauce pack so hard? Like, never in my life have I heard a sauce pack crunch like. It must be because it's vegan. I don't even know, guys. Hopefully, this tastes good, you know, because I got, uh, it caught my eye when it said barbecue and everything. But then I'm getting to realize that it's plant based and vegan and yakky yak. And then I was reading this, and you know where it's from? The UK. So, hey, Murphy, if you watch this, Murphy, you know, shout out Murphy. If you ever at the Safeway in Newport, Oregon, tell Murphy I said hi. You know who he is because he's British. You know, he got a little bit of an accent. Anyway, anyway, there, there. I better take this off the heat a little bit. My mac and cheese ain't gonna do well. Like, well, I've been talking too much. All right, look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. It's a little crunchy. I've never seen a a packet like this crunchy. How am I even supposed to do this? Because you know, wait, I got, I got, I got to read these directions. Hold it, guys. I'm like, it's crunchy, guys. It's crunchy. So, it says, uh, drain macaroni, which we've done. It says, add cheese flavored sauce mix. I guess that's this. So, to the saucepan. But you see this, guys? Look, look at this, look at this. I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's not expired or nothing. Doesn't it expire in like August or something? I don't know, I ripped that part off. Yeah, yeah. Right here, so it expires in, uh. Wait, no. It expires the end of next month. So it's still got the whole month on it, but. 
Why is it all crunchy? Hey, Wicked, if you're watching this, why is it crunchy? Why isn't it just powder? Because I've always seen it in powder. Like, how did it get so crunchy? And so, I guess so. This might screw up the whole process of the way I make mac and cheese. Alright. Get a little bit in there. Now, I got it. Now, that's probably enough butter. Yeah, I gotta put my butter away. I right, put butter away. Now, I got me some uh, milk, some 2%, because you know, that's what I'll be drinking. Alright, that's probably enough. Yeah. Alright, so now it says stir it up, gotta stir it up. But like I said, how am I really supposed to stir it up when it's all crunchy, guys? Like, is that gonna reduce? I don't know, guys. I don't know, guys. Can you see it? Can you see it? You know, it's like all crunchy. Like, what did you, guys? What did you? I don't really know. I don't really know. Maybe I'll put you back up here so you can get this angle. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even really know what I'm supposed to do here. Because, you know, it's crunchy, guys. Now, it tell, I think it told me to heat it up as well, which doesn't make much sense to me. So it says stir and heat until it thickens. So, I guess we're putting it back in the oven. I guess, I guess, guys. I don't really know about this, you know. Like I said, never in my life have I gotten a mac and cheese sauce packet and it'd be all crunchy. So, it gets still all crunchy. Anyway, guys, I guess we keep on doing the instructions and I'll come back to you, you know, when it's done. Hopefully it tastes good. So I'll see you in a bit. Burp. I guess, I guess. So, you know, I've got right here and everything. I see, I see, I see. So, I don't know about this, guys. Because like I was saying to you, never in my life have I seen a cheese packet solid. It looked like a bouillon cube. A, is it bouillon or bouillon? A bouillon cube? Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. So, anyway, so usually uh, I would take my mac and cheese and I would uh, wrap plastic wrap around it and then let it quaggly and everything. But this thing, since uh, I had to heat it and like, get rid of those like crunchy uh, sauce packets, it's pretty well you know, sauced up and everything. So anyway guys, got myself my, my drink. And yeah, let's go, let's go. Give you my first impressions. Smells a little barbecue-y. Everything, but will it taste decent? Good? Or, uh, or uh, will we give it the bo -bam, bo bam for a shepherd check? Or will it just get the no bueno? Anyway, we fixing to find out. See, that's what it looks like. Smells interesting, but cheers. You see, I like crunchy part of. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The whole experience, I'm not sure about this, guys, because there's still crunchy bits of. Like the sauce pack and everything. And then once again, how did it get into a hard form? You know, it's supposed to be a powder. It's not supposed to be like a cracker. Kind of weird because it, it got some smoky taste to it and a smoky flavor, but. I wouldn't call it barbecue, I just call it smoky. Like someone just had a bunch of liquid smoke in this. Maybe people's taste palettes are different in the UK, you know, because this is from the UK apparently, because it said product of the UK and uh, everything, but I'd have to definitely sauce this up and everything. You know, I'd have to get myself some like hot sauce, you know, get myself some like tillamook like, cheese put in there. Maybe you can put some hot dogs, you know. Just for me to even drink it. I mean, it's not all that enjoyable, guys. Not all that enjoyable. But 
But hey, that's just for my taste palette and everything. I came in this thing is gonna taste like barbecue potato chips. I like barbecue, but it's just smoky macaroni. Smoky macaroni, and like I said, the, the cheese packet, boy. Tell you what, tell you what. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll probably give it up. Well, also, it's only 88 cents, guys. But for 88 cents, you know, you could usually get a, a, a thing of Kraft macaroni and cheese for like a dollar fifty or something like that, and everything. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Mine's on sale a dollar fifty, so I'll probably just go with the stick with the staple Kraft macaroni and cheese. Or if you're from Canada, and shout out in the comments below if you watch this in Canada, Kraft dinner. I don't know why they call it Kraft Dinner in Canada, and they call it Kraft Microwave and Cheese in America, but they do. So anyway, keep spreading the good vibes only. Like, comment, subscribe, and, you know, I guess we'll give it a decent, guys. Till next time, Maria. Oh, and hopefully you enjoyed watching this, you know, Cook with Maria segment. And remember, trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of May. So, burp.